All right, so this is my OnePlus Nord, and this is the latest Oxygen OS 10.5.5 update, uh, which is being installed on my phone right now. So we are gonna take a look at what all is new with the update itself, and we'll see if the bugs are fixed, if the display is fixed, and everything given here is fixed or not. So it's done, and we'll just reboot our device, and we'll be right back with you. Okay, so here we go. Our device is booted back up. And if you go into settings real quick, if you go into about phone and as you can see the Oxygen OS is 10.5.5 and if you don't or if you guys don't get the update through the settings, you will have to go to the Play Store and download an app called as Oxygen Updater. I'll leave all the links for it in the description down below. So download that app and through that you will get the OTA for the phone itself. But I went through one thing. So before this video, I had installed ROM and then i flashed the indian version of the fast boot rom on this so what that did is that did not let oxygen os updater or oxygen updater to update my phone as it was an indian rom so i had to flash the global version of the rom and then i was able to install or then i basically got the ota for the uh, update itself through system or through settings so that's a good thing so in this update there are three system fixes three camera fixes and two power fixes uh, so first things first is improved volume adjustment interface so the volume adjustment is this one which is right over here and this has been improved so for some people or few people they had an issue where this would just blink for a couple of seconds and not be stable uh, so they have fixed that so it, it will no longer blink it will just stay and let you adjust the volume as you want uh, the second thing is fixed system reboot issue when freeform is enabled. Uh, when, so when you had freeform apps enabled or, or basically the freeform setting enabled, the device would automatically reboot uh, and that has been fixed in this. So the people using the freeform option should now basically see the changes. The next thing or the next system thing fixed is fixed issue of OnePlus notes always running in background. So the OnePlus Notes app was always running in the background. I don't use the OnePlus Notes at all. So people had issues where they saw the OnePlus Notes app always running in the background and they could actually see it in the battery as well. So it was taking up a lot of battery and it was draining their battery overnight, which is now fixed in this update as well. So the next fixes are basically camera fixes. So first things first, uh, they promised to have fixed the front facing camera or, or the quality of the front facing camera in low light mode so i would not be able to test that right now but they have promised to fix the camera quality in low light mode next thing is they have promised to or they have said they have improved the quality of macro camera so i'll put few macro images right now on the screen and basically you guys be the judge if it has been improved or not i'll post a couple of pictures so you guys just check out if anything has been fixed or not then they have promised to improve the vibrancy and the color accuracy of macro camera again go through the sample images and just look out if anything has been changed or if you see an improvement in the macro camera itself if not then it's not fixed if you if you like the images then maybe they have improved they have not fixed but they have improved the camera but if you don't see any difference with the macro camera chances are they have not fixed anything so they have just promised to improve it and they'll keep on improving in the future. So software updates like this will keep on improving the performance of the camera in the future as well. Then we come down to the power consumption or the power fixes. So they have promised to fix the general power consumption. So basically, so this was not happening to me, but few users, I got a, I got a couple of DMs on Instagram as well regarding this, that their battery is draining quite a lot. And by quite a lot, I mean they were not even able to get six hours of SOT on their phone. So I think this will fix it and this will fix the power consumption of the phone. Uh, and then they have promised to improve the charging experience. Again, I had one guy DM me about this issue that he is not able to see the warp charging happening on his phone. So again, they have promised to fix that as well in this particular update itself. So coming on to the display tint, they have not mentioned about this anywhere in the change log, but we'll just see if they have fixed it or not. And if I go into the dark mode real quick, and if I open Google Chrome, so there we go, Google Chrome, accept, next, no thanks. 
so if we just go here and if we turn down the or turn up the brightness i still do see pink tint so i am looking at this phone from a below angle not from the top so for i do i still do see the pink tint on my phone which is again not fixed by the oneplus team uh, but uh, then again this is a display issue this will not be fixed through a software update and you guys have to keep that in mind but uh, yeah let me know down in the comment section if you see any changes regarding the display or not for me i again as i said i never had the green tint issue uh, but the pink tint issue is still present on my phone and again the display band will also be present on the phone itself so again as i said nothing is mentioned about the display uh, but yeah they have fixed a couple of issues and in spite of them mentioning this eight or nine issues which they have fixed they must have also fixed a lot of background issues or background changes they must have done to this phone so yeah expect a good experience with the oneplus nord after this update as well so yeah that for now that is pretty much it this was the system update 10.5.5 and again if you don't receive the update from the settings go to the play store or go to the first link in the description for the app download it and yes you will get all the future updates if you download or if you get the ota through that app right now so yeah for now that is pretty much it thank you for watching if you have any questions regarding this particular update let me know that in the comment section down below and yeah that is pretty much it thank you for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next one